boom box, a leather jacket, and the car door unlocked. For eight months, this man we'll call Bud made breaking into cars his livelihood. When I was doing this, I probably got into over a thousand vehicles, support my drug habits, and probably earned about $20,000. Bud served three sentences at the Oregon State Pen for car prowling, parole violation, and drug offenses. Today, he offers serious advice to car owners. Sometimes you've got to understand how the criminal thinks a little bit to know what to look for. Most car prowls take place in areas with a high concentration of parked cars. Generally, we walk along, even at a good pace, once you're used to doing it, you're used to scanning a vehicle very quickly. Leaving personal items in sight is an invitation to a car prowler. Now this car, for instance, Prime example, you've got a box full of tapes on the rear deck, the speakers in the back seat, very portable. Chances are in a car like this, he's gonna leave some things of value out, he's probably got other things of value. It's worth ransacking the whole thing, it takes approximately five minutes. Tops, if, if you don't want things stolen from your car, don't leave anything out where they can see it. If you've got a trunk, use it. The trunk is not an automatic safe place to store valuables. That is, unless it's been hit before. Most car prowlers won't touch this type of a car if it's already been done, simply because the owner knows that he's had his trunk broke into before, he just won't carry anything in there anymore. Common sense plays a big role in the game. If you don't leave anything of value in sight, keep your car fairly clean helps. That means no spare change in the ashtray and no hidden keys to your car or home. I mean, it's crazy what some people will do, you know? Most alarm systems are deterrents to car prowlers unless they see something of value. The best alarm system in the world is not going to stop a smash and grab. The smash and grab car thief is likely to go after television sets, VCRs, coats, money, even guns and drugs all items Bud stole during his days as a car prowler. But he used a screwdriver when he discovered an easy mark. This car here, this is a Mazda two-door. Real simple to get into. Easily $30 worth of stuff just laying out that you can see. Easily fensible. This is a good find. Some cars are easier to break into than others. Most import cars, such as Toyotas, Datsuns, Nissans, Mazdas, some Volkswagens were all very simple to get into with a straight bladed screwdriver. This car, hard to get into. Volvo owners are really picky anyway. Besides Volvos and some other German-made cars, there's another category car prowlers dislike. Some of the most difficult cars I ever ran across were um, US-made. There's one final warning should you surprise a car burglar at work. Chances are they're probably desperate and dangerous. The best thing for a person to do if they see someone doing this, get an accurate description of it. Or better yet, stop the car prowler before he targets your car. If you can take away from them what they're looking for, they'll pass you by. The actual number of car prowls is down this year compared to last year, if you can believe that, but it is still a very serious problem here in Portland. In addition to Bud's advice on how you can prevent car break-ins, uh, the Portland Police has some tips and advice for you, too. 861. 861. You'll be responding to a car prowl in progress. Car prowling is a major crime problem for the city. Officer Bill Calder is an 18-year veteran of the Portland Police Bureau. He's noticing a new trend in car prowling. Most of the arrests that I've been making here on the west side have been Asian gangsters. Officer Calder says if you do carry valuables in your car, be sure to keep an accurate record. You should always record serial numbers of, of all your stuff. Engravers do a really good job. You can engrave something maybe in one or two places with name and driver's license number. If you do have your car broken into, he advises everyone to report it. The major reason that I want people to report it is so we, the police, know where crime is happening. A 
Officer Calder has had his car broken into three times. The last time was while he was on vacation. No one's safe. However, his valuables were marked, and right. they were later returned to him. 